Yo, what is going on guys? We are back today for week number three of Eternity of Pain Depression. And so we've had Havoc and the Nick Fury bosses. Up next we have Terax, so that means next week we'll have Scorpion. And uh, we're just going to read the little thing it says on here. Uh, heavy attacks can't be blocked. Try using one when your opponent is blocking. That's not true actually. They can be blocked. Withstand your ground. So, it's false. But all right, let's uh, let's go check out this boss. Take a look at some of these nodes and then some objectives. All right, so Terax. Now, th th this I think this is a new node, and it's my favorite node now in the game, and it's called Made of Rubber, because I like to think that I'm made of rubber, and uh, if you know why, you know why. So, for each debuff active on the defender, the attacker ignores 15% of the damage they would take while striking the defender up to a max of 60%. So you want to put debuffs on the defender basically to lower the damage you're taking from the rock field and degen uh, potentially as well. Um, then we have impending extortion. At the start of the fight, as soon as the defender has less than one bar of power, a 14 second timer is started. Pause during the defender specials. If the defender fills a bar of power while this timer is active, it is removed. If this timer expires, the attacker is dealt a burst of direct damage equal to 50% of their max health, and the timer restarts. Now, this this happened to me a couple of times. I just like lost a buttload of health, just like exploded. That must have been this note. I wasn't paying attention to it too much. I don't think you really need to, especially if you're going to be using the same counters that I use. Um, there's already just a lot going on. I just, I, I, I was having trouble keeping track of that. And we also have a powerful from afar. So if you're not near Terax, he's going to be getting power gain, which can be annoying, especially if he doesn't want to throw his specials and he just goes to an L3. That happened to me. That was very annoying. And uh, then we have special delivery. So you have 15 hits until you need to throw a special. And if you don't throw that special, you're going to degen, uh, pass de degeneration. Then we have heavy hitter. Uh, heavy attacks cannot be interrupted, so Terax will get a unstoppable passive every time he goes for a heavy attack. Gotta be careful of that. But if you get the timing right, right after he throws that heavy, uh, you can intercept him, which I'll show you guys that timing. Uh, and then we have uh, Ebb and Flow Intercept, which is an interesting one. So once you, if you don't intercept Terax, he's gonna have a, a fat protection, lowering your 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 damage that you do to him. But if you do intercept him, you're gonna take away that protection. Then you're also gonna get a fury passive, and it's gonna increase your attack by 40% for 12 seconds. Uh, that's pretty nice. But <laughs> something to keep in mind is once that fury expires, any debuffs on Terax are purified, including stun debuffs, damage over time, everything. And that can catch you. It definitely caught me. Uh, and then we have dash vulnerability, which is a super pro player node, which just increases our attack rating when we're hitting them when dashing, which we're going to be doing a lot of intercepting. So we're going to take full advantage of this node. That's really, really nice, actually. And then for tags here, we have new Avengers, uh, medium sized mutants and villain that also has the tank combat style. That one's a hard one to, uh, to get. But let's go take a look at uh, some of those tags real quick. So, uh, so defensive tank, and then it also has to be a villain. So I went for Immortal Abomination. I have him at rank four. He was definitely the go-to for me. A lot of these other champs just, you know, aren't villains. Um, so they, they, they just can't do it, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, Eye Bomb was really the one I went for here. I'm not really sure who else I'd even, I'd even go for. Um... And then let's take a look at the new Avengers. Let's see. New Avengers. So here, Hyperion. Uh, I was definitely eyeing Hyperion at first. I was going to go for him. But then I decided to give Sunspot a try, actually. Um, and I realized, well, I already did it with Namor for the medium-sized mutant. But Sunspot can get two objectives done. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing in today's video, using Sunspot to get two objectives done. My Sunspot is only rank two, though. I'm going to throw on some boosts, a mutant boost. It's really going to help. Um, that's going to be the plan for that one. And then just uh, as for medium-sized mutants, aside from Sunspot, um, I highly suggest Namor. Uh, even a five-star. Five-star Sig 200 Namor will get the job done. I already uploaded a video showing that. He absolutely crushed it. Did it in my second attempt. He just rinsed it, and it's just, that's just a five star. Like Namor, OG best counter to Terax. Uh, but today we're going to be going for Immortal Abomination, 
and Sunspot to get all of these objectives done. So let's go get to the gameplay. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and start with Sunspot here. So this took a uh, quite a few tries. I'd say less than, is, but the total recording time on this was nine. It was actually nine eleven, nine minutes, 11 seconds uh, of, of attempts to get this done. Uh, and this was my final attempt. Like it, I, I told myself, like, okay, if I don't get it here, I'm done. I'm going to go switch to Hyperion. Cause like I said, I only needed one objective left at this point. Cause I already did the name one one. Um, this was the last one I was trying to do. Just, uh, not the, not the mutant uh, objective. So just the, the new Avengers one. And so, uh, I was, this was last attempt. I, I had a couple decent runs, but, uh, on all of them, I pretty much ran out of charges. Like I ran out of charge, so I couldn't get any more intercepts or sorry, incinerates. Uh, so here, this, this fight's going better. Uh, I, I already got four special ones, but I need to, you know, uh, parry heavy, get some of the incinerates back. I'm I'm not good with sunspot. I do not claim me to be a sunspot pro. I'm actually pretty garbage with him. Uh, but here, I get off this special two just in time. Unfortunately, the final hit doesn't crit, but it gave us enough power for a special two with that mutant boost active so here i go for it i think i should have probably done a heavy first to get back some of my charges like i said i'm not a sunspot pro by any means and uh yeah now i'm out of charges but i got off another special two there i did some damage he's getting low but this is this is not looking good i can't get any more incinerate so i'm not going to be able to you know lower the the rock uh field damage if he gets off a special so here i go for another special two it does some decent damage um and he's almost dead. We're both around like 5% here. He throws this and <laughs> I die. But like that was by far my greatest sunspot run. And like I said, that was going to be my final run too. And I'm like, okay, that's good. I, I love to use a revive. That's, I'm extremely content and happy with that run, man. I was stoked to get that run. Not at all mad that I died. Not at all. I really don't mind using a revive, especially in a situation like this where there's less than 10% left. Like, sure. As you guys saw, I've revived an overflow. If I don't use them, they're just going to expire anyways. I have no other content like to be using them on. So like, there's no shame in using it here, man. No shame at all. Uh, and there shouldn't be any kind of shame. And so that was a sunspot run. I'm really happy. If my sunspot was rank three, you know, that would have been an easy solo. Uh, but at rank two, he did a good job. Like I said, I'm also not very good with sunspot. So like, I'm really happy uh, with my performance there. Uh, and then we're going to use a character that I that I do know how to play. Someone that I am very, very comfortable playing. And that is Immortal Abomination. Oh my God. I love this beautiful, ugly monster so much. Uh, he helped us win the semi-final against uh, TJ, the very final match I was using. I was actually using Eye Bomb against Sunspot. Dude, that is crazy, actually. What? What? That's actually nuts. The final matchup of that tournament, of that tournament match, is the two champs I used for the following day's Attorney of Pain objectives. What are the odds of that, man? That's, so, that's, so, that's such a weird coincidence. But, uh, okay, so, yeah, with Eye Bomb here, Start off with a lot of heavies, just, you know, build that power faster. And then here, boom, we intercept, get that fury up, boom, now we get all these poisons. Now we're getting so much damage, go for more intercepts, try to take advantage of dash vulnerability as well. And so here, uh, the protection comes back. Here, boom, look at that. Bait the heavy, then intercept right after. There's a small window to get that, and if you do, it's just, it's money. Uh, and it's staying close to him. Boom. There we go. Bait the heavy. Get that intercept in again. Getting that timing down. This definitely was not my first try. I'd say the eye bomb runs is about like 13 minutes to get this run. Uh, I, had, I had a lot of really close runs, but something just always kept going wrong uh, at, at some point. But here we get another toxic aura active. Another special one. And boom. Lights out for Karax, man. Oh my goodness. This eye bomb. Rank 4 I bomb. So happy with this rank up, dude. Like, this guy is an absolute animal. An absolute animal. So that's how I took down Terax with Sunspot and I bomb. Uh, and yeah, guys, that's, that's going to do it for this video. That's what I did for my objectives. If you guys used anyone else or if you used the same champs, you had success, let me know down in the comment section below. I'm really interested if anyone used Hyperion. The only reason why I didn't 
use him or while I was, you know, kind of hesitant to, I was going to after that last sunspot run, but I just didn't want to turn off suicide masteries. Because if I used Hyperion United, the plan would be to spam special ones. But I can't do that with suicides or I'd just die super quick. Um, so yeah, but if you guys use Hyperion, I'd love to know how that went. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If so, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more content. I appreciate all the love and support on the channel lately, guys. It really means a lot. Thank you, guys. We're going to keep pushing for 100k. Peace out.